Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be painting my calipers. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is jack it up. And now take the wheels off. Boom. Right, so the kit we're gonna use is a, or the kit I'm gonna use, is an E-Tech kit. Uh, brake caliper paint. Um, I'm gonna use red. Comes with a wire brush, brake cleaner, and a pot of red caliper paint. So, let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do uh, is give these calipers uh, a really good clean, um, but I'm also going to take this um, metal bracket off that holds the caliper in position a little bit, um, holds the brake pads in too, um, just so I can repaint this black. So the wire brush you get in the kit, just make sure you get, you're trying to, trying to get all the loose stuff off first really. Um, it's quite dusty, you can see quite a lot of the dust coming off there. Um, all the old dirt and grime and stuff. Okay, just be careful around the brake lines and stuff. Okay. Once you think you've got most of the stuff off in the kit, clutch cleaner. So what you want to do with this is basically give it a spray. And then what you'll see with this is you'll see it drying off. I'm going to give mine another bit of a scrape. Try and remove a bit more. And give them another spray. Let that dry. Okay, so now we're going to take the uh, caliper spring off and just pop through there. Uh, so we can give that a good scrub and a good spray down, a good clean, and we can get this bit painted black. So the E-Tech kit, uh, well this one, I'm going to need to apply the paint with a paintbrush. Um, so what I'm going to do is pop the lid off and then we'll get cracking on with the painting. Right, we're going to go for the first coat uh, on this caliper. Now. I have got myself a variety of different size paint brushes um, in order to get into all the little nooks and crannies and what have you. Um, so I'm just going to start the first coat. Now by the looks of it, it's going to need a couple of coats. So while I'm painting this one, I'm going to play you some tunes and then I'm just going to speed up the process so you don't get bored watching me paint for like 20 minutes. Okay, so once you've done your first coat, um, this is where I suggest taking both wheels off is a good idea. 
leave that to dry do the first coat on the other side and then come back to this side to give it a second coat and hopefully it will look nice and shiny red and this is the second side with its first coat and we're going to move back round to the first side and give that its second coat so the idea of giving um, both sides a first coat is that you can allow each side to dry now it takes about half an hour or so um, for it to dry dry um, it dries smooth which is nice so most of your uh, paintbrush lines and what have you won't be in there um, but this second coat you can try and get a little bit more paint on um, and then I am gonna just because it's a nice sunny day I'm going to apply a third coat when this is all dry so that's the second coat on this side done now let's get the second coat on the other side done too and just finishing up the second coat on the second caliper and we're going to let that dry Move back to the first one and give that its third coat. Happy days. Three coats on both and they're looking pretty good. Quite happy with that. Now I'm just going to pop these little springs back on. Um, I'm probably going to scratch this paint but it's okay because I can do a little bit of touching up so but that's okay because I can do a little bit of touching up that's the top end <laughs> not obviously the best way of doing it Done. All right. So a tiny little bit of touching up to do. That's how we roll in this business. Watching paint dry. Best time of your life. So they're going pretty well. Um, both sides have had three coats. I think I'm going to leave it there on the third coat. I'm quite happy with how it looks. Um, I'm going to make up a little small decal, little sticker uh, to go on there saying some jargon like go faster red or go faster strike or I don't know, whatever. Um, so yeah, what's left to do now is to just pop the wheels back on, drop it back down to the ground and then we'll head over to the rears and get the rears done. Alright, so wheels are going on. I just want to take this opportunity really um, to thank you guys for subscribing to the channel um, got over 500 as most of you are aware gave away a free hat to say thank you um, what else is good what else is happening oh so what I do have coming which might interest a few of you if it's not your cup of tea that's fine is I am currently sorting out a store a merchandise online store where you'll be to, where you'll be able to get hold of um, some jumpers um, some hats and some t-shirts so hopefully by the time I finish shooting this video I'll have the website up and running and I'll stick a little link in below. Looking fresh. Well that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos. Please remember to stay at home and stay safe. Things like driveway mods ideal really 
get out there, do some stuff to your bus, but please stay safe, please stay at home. The merch store is open, um, you can find a link in the description below, you can also find that link on my Instagram channel. Thanks for watching, this is Tom, this is T-Dubs, see you all soon.